What's up tech, it's Josh here. We've got quite a few cases to go over, so let's go ahead and get on into it. All the links that you need will be down in the video description if you're interested in picking up any of these cases. Let's get started. The first case I wanna talk about is the Nomad Modern Leather case. This is my favorite case every year. And it got that much better because of a digital business card that's built into the case now. It's MagSafe, so that's always a plus, but let me just show you how this works. They've partnered with Popple and that's the digital business card. So I have all my business information here. I'll leave a link down below. I really, really love this system. I went ahead and got some different kind of tags, some little disc and stuff like that, keychains, just to be able to have it with me. I don't like carrying business cards. So this is a perfect way to share my business info with potential clients. So really cool stuff. I love that they implemented that into the Nomad cases. So cool. For those that like the folio style cases, the Nomad also has that as an offering. So you get a front flip cover with a wallet built in. You get a billfold right there. MagSafe compatible. It's a really cool case. And just to kind of show you the difference between, I've had, I've been using this case pretty much every day since the iPhone came out. And you can see the different wear and tear that happens on that. This has not been used at all. So you can see the differences there. Really cool stuff. The buttons are really nice and clickable on the modern leather case. It's been just a great experience overall. Nice protection on the sides. You got a kind of like a TPU kind of material on the sides for the extra protection. Then the nice leather back. Apple leather case. Of course, it's MagSafe compatible. It's my second go-to. I really like their stuff. It's nice, minimal, thin. It's just a nice quality to it. Works really well with all MagSafe compatible materials and accessories. Next up is the OtterBox. This is the commuter case. It's a tried and true brand. Can't go wrong with it if you're looking for a really good protection. It's a two layered case. It's easier to put on the silicone layer first, the rubber material, and then put on the hard plastic next. Then you just kind of fill in the creases. You'd think I'd be an expert case installer by now. All these years of case videos. So the highlights about this case is that it's got two layers, really good protection, it's fully protected all the way around. You have a dust port cover for the charging port. It's got full access to the speakers on the bottom. It's raised above the glass. As far as buttons go, they feel good. They click nice, not a lot of effort to do that. The next case is the mouse case. This is the first time I've ever had this on the channel. I actually went to Amazon and bought it because I just wanted to see what it's like. Every year I get people asking to review it. So I went ahead and went to Amazon, got it myself. I reached out to mouse, but they didn't reach back. I was hoping that they would send this to me. FYI, a lot of these cases were sent to me. Some I did buy, so that way I could have it included into this video. But what attracted me to this case is that it's got the wood material and then you have protection on the outside. It's a pretty solid case. The buttons feel really good. Easy access to the silent button too. So no complaints there, I see why people would like it. It would be nice and pocketable, it's a slick background, but not like slick and slippery kind of way. I would recommend checking it out if you like the different kind of materials. I'm a fan of different kind of materials like leathers, woods, just different textures like that. I'm not a big fan of just plastic and grimy kind of slick feeling. So these are, I would say this is a good case. And again, it's got MagSafe built in. So it's gonna be compatible with all of those accessories. The next case I wanna talk about is a channel favorite. And this is a really nice leather case. And it's made by Mujo, Mojo, Mujo. I'm not even sure how to say it still. But M-U-J-J-O. The material's nice. It's got a nice leather smell to it. If you like that leather uh, scent. So it's always fun to have that. It does not have MagSafe built in because you have a leather card slot here on the back. So if you like that kind of material and that kind of style, it's really cool. If you don't use cards, like it actually adds as an extra way to grip the phone. So the buttons, they feel pretty good too. A little bit of extra effort to press them, but over time, it's gonna feel pretty good. It's actually better than last year and previous years. This year feels pretty nice and smooth. This next case is made by Subcase and it's the Unicorn Beetle. It's got the phone clip to it or the belt clip. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, that's a good option for you. This is the kind of case that has a built-in screen protector. I'm not the biggest fan of those kind of style cases, but I'm sure there's someone that appreciates them. A couple of different levels of protection with this style case. Now mind, I do have a tempered glass screen protector installed on mine. That's the style that I like for screen protection. And it's still 
pretty compatible even with the tempered glass installed. The buttons feel nice and clickable, so I'm a fan of that. You get a cover for the silent button as well as the charging ports. Raised above the screen really good, so this does provide some really nice protection. On the back you have a kickstand, so you can put the phone like that. You can lock it in place and go portrait, so that could be good for video calls, watching videos or you know things like that. It can also act as a way to hold onto the phone if you want to use it like that too. As far as the touchscreen goes, the typing experience is pretty good. I don't feel any kind of hindrances at all. Scrolling feels pretty good too. I'm actually pretty impressed that it works with the tempered glass screen protectors. These next two cases are made by Clayco. Again, we've got the built-in screen protector style. The built-in part is pretty similar to what we just did, but this is like a more flexible material, not a hard shell. Still gonna offer a good level of protection, but you don't get any kind of port covers. Get different kind of textures on the back here. Helps with grip, things like that. The buttons actually feel really good. It's nice and clickable, so I like that a lot. This next one's pretty similar. It just has the clear back, so I just let you see what it looks like. I think it actually look pretty good with a blue iPhone. Right, so that's what it looks like with the phone on. Again, I'm not a fan of plastic backs. Is it, you know, doesn't seem like this picks up many fingerprints right now, but there's potential for that. But it does look pretty nice. This next case is made by Subcase. It's a clear style case for the iPhone. So if you're a big fan of the color of your iPhone, this is a great option. Because you don't lose the style of the iPhone too much. Of course, you got some extra layer there. You can see the case. Another idea that I've seen people do is put photos between the case and the phone. So you can use the clear case that way, kind of customize it the way you want. Button feels really good, really nice and clickable. So that's a big plus. You got really good protection around the edges. And also if you like skins, like you might be able to put a skin between the case and that. So this is the Air iPhone 13 Pro Max, the smoke black is eco packaging. So it's gonna be kind of similar to what we just put on the phone, but it's gonna have that smoke kind of color. So kind of see the iPhone in it, but you're still gonna have that kind of level of protection. Buttons feel good. I'm gonna quit trying to activate Apple Pay. Buttons feel good. It's got a minimal kind of feel to it, so I like that. It's gonna be pretty pocketable. The kind of plastic that it is is pretty grippy too, so you're not gonna like lose your grip with this phone, but I would be concerned about getting dirty, maybe a little bit fingerprinty over time. So this is basically the same case, just the clear color. So if you're a fan of Rinke, this is a good case for that. Buttons feel good, just like the last one. You just get to see the iPhone a little bit more. So same case, different color. This time it's not see-through. So very minimal. The only thing that I'm not a fan of with these kind of cases is that they don't have the MagSafe stuff built in. So if you're using MagSafe, you're gonna to wanna to get the MagSafe version of these cases. They do offer some MagSafe options. So continuing on with Rinke, they have some different designs. This is the X design. It's a pretty cool design, I like it. It's got some raised points here. It doesn't make it flat to the table, but extra protection at least. So this looks pretty cool. Buttons feel good, no complaints there. It's gonna be a pretty protective case too. The other thing I like about it is that it has some different texture on the sides and that's gonna help with grip. Pretty much the same case, but this one is called Paint. Just a different kind of design. Looks pretty cool. Live a better day is written on it. Here's another one that they make here. This is a very minimal case. Soft feeling coating, which it definitely feels good to the touch. Let's go ahead and get it dressed on the iPhone. Buttons feel good. No complaints. These, this case lineup has been really good so far. I've really enjoyed the different aspects that each company has provided. This is a case that actually has been around for a few years now with this camo design. Looks really cool with that blue back. I like that a lot. That design looks really cool. Button is always good on these. Very nice protective case too. You get a little bit of extra protection on the sides and on the corners. And just one more to show you some different color options. This is like the X and the paint one, but just a plain design with a navy blue color. So just one more case made by Rinke still. This one does have MagSafe installed, so if you like the clear kind of case, it's pretty close to what Apple offers. But if you're looking for a little bit cheaper option with a clear type case, this kind of adds that matte kind of finish to the back some more. Then you have the MagSafe built in too and the buttons feel great. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this cases video. We got 
tons of options. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments. My favorite is definitely the Nomad Modern Leather Case. It's got that digital business card in it. Wonderful option, love it. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. If there's any cases that you liked in this video, again, a link will be down in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos like this. And until then, stay techie.